Internet Marketing Exposed. I'm Kelly Rossi, and this week I'm going to tell you how you can create, schedule, and track your social media content at probably at least half of the time and for free. Several of you have already figured this out that we have a free social media control panel available to anybody. Right here on the bottom of the screen, I'm going to keep this URL up and you can just go there and create your own account and go ahead, put your LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and you can put multiple of each of those accounts in there. So some of you have already signed up for our free social media control panel, but if you haven't, I'm going to keep the URL right here. And so you can go there at any time. We have a free version, we have a paid version, and then we have a complete, like you don't even have to touch it and we will create all of your content for you. So I'm gonna go in here and tell you about the different versions and what these things can do. Okay, so now we are on um, the website and we're ready to go into the control panel. If you are new to all of this, go to socialmagnitude.com and under the client login area over here, there is the option for the social control panel. So you click on that. If you haven't signed up yet, uh, you can go in here and sign up for a new free sign up down at the bottom. Click that, fill it email, password, um, confirm your password and click sign up. And that will bring you into uh, the login area and from that point you just go in and sign in so back into the social media control panel this is the home page if you need to add an account just click on here go add more accounts let's say i want to add a facebook account post to this page so i have my personal and professional page plus my twitter and um and LinkedIn account right here on the right. Now you can go into the scheduler, it's a second tab. Since there's no messages currently scheduled, some messages going, this is where you're gonna see how easy this thing is to use. Okay, so I actually just got back from Hawaii and I have been wanting to share this little video. So I thought maybe I'll do that for uh, this little demo here. I'm gonna go in and copy that, that uh, URL right there to share the video. Go into the scheduler um, and paste, obviously, the video and write a little blurb. And to schedule it to Twitter, I just simply click on the Twitter page. Facebook, as you'll see, it'll open up the two accounts that I have. Um, you know, I'll do the first one, which is my, which is my personal account. Here's a little preview of the video down at the bottom. I'm not gonna put it on LinkedIn right now, but if I wanted to, all I would have to do is click that little box. You can see, hey, here's where everything's gonna be going. And then what you do down here is you go schedule your time. Hey, let's say I wanna put this out at 2.15 and add it to your schedule. As you'll see, here it is. Here's this fabulous little um, post that's gonna go out at 2.15 today uh, to my one Facebook account and my Twitter account. One of the coolest things about uh, this platform here is the Visual Composer. So you can get to it in one of two ways. Obviously, there's a button right here. Um, or if you schedule new content, you can go into the Open Visual Composer as well. So um, what this does is it allows you to create your own digital graphics for your social media posts. So let's say I wanna create a graphic about, um, you know, this social media platform. I've already made a snippet of this platform, so, and I uploaded it earlier. So let's use that image. Here's the image. Over here on the right, I can go through and click, okay, I'm gonna add it to this format right here and it easily makes it into like a very nice, presentable custom graphic. I can switch it around, I can change it to this graphic. All right, let's go in and edit this text. Looks pretty good here. So we'll go ahead and attach that image to, here it is down here, and we'll schedule it to go out. And what do you know, there it is. Is. You can preview the image right here. Let's see what it's going to look like. 
All right, looks good. Looks like we're ready to go. Now let's go in and change on our social media profiles. First, you're going to have to choose your streams. Okay, as you can see on Twitter, you can go in, you can have your home feed come in, or let's say I just want to see the mentions that come in. Um, on Facebook, obviously, your, your wall feed or um, your most recent feed. So let's just go and put my wall on there so I can just monitor what's going on on Facebook and Twitter at the same time. All right. Next tab here is your statistics. So this will show you the traffic from the post that you sent out through this platform only. It'll show you, you know, here's your audience, the locations of it. This is all demo material, what your content's doing, the most popular hashtags that you used. And this is fantastic is the best times of the day. And a lot of times you'll see that, um, you know, certain times of the day are better for a different platform. So it'll make it so you can really optimize the time that you send your things out. Content research is absolutely fantastic. Um, this is a great way to come up with new material you can share on any network. Let's say um, I want to know something about Las Vegas. I can go in here, click on the Google News tab, click Las Vegas. Okay, all these articles show up. Unfinished fountain blue will get exterior wrap. I mean, that building has been there forever. Let's see what, what it, that's all about. Let's totally share that. I just click this post tweet article. Uh, I can post it to, I'm going to share it on my Twitter account and maybe my personal Facebook account. And it's been scheduled. Let's go back to the scheduler and check out what's going on. Oh, looks like my article is right there, set to go out tomorrow. Fantastic. All right, let's check this content research again. So the Facebook tab here, so in this tab, you can pull up the most popular things that are showing up on Facebook. And let's check it out. Visit Las Vegas. And this goes over to the Las Vegas page. Lo and behold, let's see what happens if we retrieve the post from this page. And now it'll show us, you know, the things that are have come up from that page. And this way you can quickly bounce into that post specifically and join the conversation. Let's look at YouTube. YouTube is also obviously a fantastic place to find new content. Let's look for social media research. How social media is affecting teens. I'm sure that would be interesting for a lot of people. Again, can go in and schedule it. The RSS feed tab is fantastic if you have a specific website or publisher that is always putting out good articles that you love to share. You can get the RSS feed from any magazine normally. So let's say, let's go for time. Just go on a time. Let's say uh, top stories on time. Click on this. Simply copy the feed from the URL, paste it into the RSS feed, voila, here are the top stories from Time Magazine. Just go on a time and go for it. Again, it'll sit, show up green when it's, when it's thumbs up in the works and you are ready to go. All right, obviously with the free version, you know, some of the things are limited. There's only five searches through the content research in here. The visual composer will give you a limited access to that and the statistics and the streams. But this is a fantastic uh, way to get started on your social media planning. If you'd like access to unlimited usage and all the unlimited features on every single tab up here at the top, just simply click go to upgrade to pro, uh, choose the pro version, subscribe now, and fill out the information there. In this version, as you can see, the, the, the limited composer is unlimited. There's no how many images that you can upload in here. Uh, the streams are also, 
you can add you know all the streams that are connected to your accounts in the streams tab you get a lot more detail on your statistics it'll show you how your how your you know clicks have been on each of your platforms what are content research is also unlocked you can do as much as you want this specific one already has tabs that are are target you know, cars uh car care news service so what happens when you have our content accounts is that we will actually go into your account and load it up with content so you don't really have to do anything at all you could basically just going on you can see what's going out every day which platforms it's going out on you can check out the images and um you know you can really just call it a day all right thank you for tuning in yet again for internet marketing exposed i'm kelly rossi like the video like the channel um like the world <laughs> um if you haven't already go and sign up for the social media control panel and we'll see you next time.